Are you struggling with the keto diet? You're eating all the right foods, cutting out the carbs, but the scale just won't budge, or even worse, you're feeling sluggish and run down. You might be making one of the common mistakes people often make when transitioning to a ketogenic lifestyle. It's easier than you think to fall into these traps, especially when the keto diet can seem pretty straightforward at first glance. But don't worry, we've all been there. Today we'll uncover what happens when you do keto wrong and how to avoid these costly mistakes. We'll dive deep into the science behind each misstep and I'll give you practical tips to ensure you're getting the most out of your keto journey. Let's get started. Let's talk about protein, the building block of our muscles. We all know it's essential, but on a keto diet, more protein doesn't necessarily equal better results. In fact, consuming too much protein can actually hinder your progress and kick you right out of ketosis. Here's the deal. When you eat protein, your body breaks it down into amino acids. Now, while some amino acids are used directly for muscle repair and growth, others can be converted into glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. Think of gluconeogenesis as your body's backup plan. When you're not consuming enough carbohydrates, your body looks for other sources to create glucose, its primary energy source. And guess what it turns to? You got it, those extra amino acids from protein. Now, this wouldn't be a big deal if you're eating a standard diet, but on keto, we want our bodies to rely on fat for fuel, not glucose. When you consume excessive protein, your body starts cranking out glucose from those amino acids, and that can prevent you from reaching and sustaining ketosis. Not only that, but excess protein can also lead to weight gain. Remember, even though protein is essential, it still contains calories. If you're eating more calories than your body needs, even if those calories come from protein, you're likely to store them as fat. So, how much protein is too much? Well, it varies depending on your individual factors like activity level and body composition. But as a general rule of thumb, aim for around 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of lean body mass. Don't worry, we'll discuss how to calculate your macros in a later chapter. For now, just remember that more protein doesn't always mean better results, especially on keto. Finding that sweet spot for your body is key. Let's talk about fat, the cornerstone of the ketogenic diet. I know, I know, for years we've been told to fear fat, to avoid it like the plague, but on keto, fat is your friend, your ally, your secret weapon to unlocking the incredible benefits of this way of eating. When we restrict carbohydrates on keto, we're essentially forcing our bodies to shift their primary fuel source from glucose to fat. This metabolic switch leads to the production of ketones, molecules produced by your liver from fat breakdown. Ketones become your body's new energy source and they're incredibly efficient. In fact, many people report feeling more energized and focused on keto, all thanks to the power of ketones. But here's the catch. You can't expect your body to thrive on keto without providing it with enough fat. Fat is the fuel that drives this whole process. If you're not consuming enough, your body can't produce enough ketones, and you might experience fatigue, brain fog, and even struggle with weight loss. Now, when I say fat, I'm talking about healthy fats, the kind that nourish your body and keep you satisfied. Think avocados, olive oil, nuts, seeds, fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, and even some full-fat dairy. These healthy fats not only provide you with energy, but also play a crucial role in hormone production, cell function, and even help your body absorb certain vitamins. So, how much fat should you be eating? Again, it depends on your individual needs, but a good starting point is to aim for around 70 to 75% of your daily calories from fat. Remember, fat is not the enemy. It's what fuels your body on keto and allows you to experience all the amazing benefits this way of eating has to offer. So, embrace the fat, enjoy the delicious foods that keto allows, and watch your body thrive. Keto-friendly doesn't mean eat all you want. Portion control still matters. Let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the plate of delicious keto-friendly snacks. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that just because something is labeled keto or is low in carbs, you have free reign to eat as much as you want. But here's the truth. Overeating, even on keto, can stall your progress and prevent you from reaching your goals. Remember, the ketogenic diet is all about shifting your metabolism, training your body to burn fat for fuel. But that doesn't mean calories go out the window. Even on keto, if you consume more calories than your body burns, you're likely to store those excess calories as fat. Think of it this way. Imagine your body is a car, and ketones are the high-octane fuel that makes it run efficiently. Now, just because you're filling your car with premium fuel doesn't mean you can drive recklessly and expect no consequences. You still need to be mindful of how much fuel you're using. The same goes for keto. 
Even if you're eating all the right foods, if you're constantly overdoing it, you're essentially flooding your engine. Your body can only utilize so much energy at once, and the excess gets stored away. Now, I'm not saying you need to meticulously track every single calorie. One of the beauties of keto is that it naturally helps regulate your appetite, making you feel fuller for longer. But it's still important to be mindful of your portions and listen to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Pay attention to how you feel after eating. Are you comfortably satisfied or are you feeling overly stuffed and sluggish? Adjust your portions accordingly and remember that it's okay to leave food on your plate. Keto is not a free pass to overindulge. It's about making conscious, healthy choices that support your overall well-being. So enjoy the delicious foods keto has to offer, but do so in moderation. Your waistline will thank you for it. Cracking the Keto Code Why tracking your macros is key Let's dive into the world of macros, those three little words that often strike fear into the hearts of keto beginners. Protein, carbohydrates, and fat. I get it. Tracking your macros can seem daunting at first like some sort of complicated math equation, but trust me, it's not as intimidating as it sounds and it's absolutely crucial for keto success. Remember earlier when we talked about the importance of finding the right balance of protein and fat? Well, tracking your macros helps you do just that. It allows you to fine-tune your diet, ensuring you're consuming the right amounts of each macronutrient to keep your body in that fat-burning state of ketosis. Think of your macros as your personalized keto roadmap. They tell you exactly what to eat and in what quantities to achieve your specific goals. Whether you're aiming for weight loss, increased energy, or improved cognitive function, tracking your macros helps you stay on track and make adjustments as needed. Now there are various methods for tracking macros, from using apps and online calculators, to simply jotting them down in a notebook. Find what works best for you and don't be afraid to experiment. When you first start tracking, you might feel like you're constantly calculating and measuring every bite. But as you become more familiar with portion sizes and the macronutrient content of different foods, it will become second nature. Tracking your macros empowers you to make informed choices about your food. It takes the guesswork out of keto and allows you to understand how different foods affect your body and your progress. Remember, knowledge is power. And when it comes to keto, understanding your macros is like having the master key to unlock your full potential. So, embrace the power of tracking and watch as you gain control over your health and reach new heights on your keto journey. Don't let the keto flu rain on your parade. The importance of electrolytes. Let's talk about the dreaded keto flu, a term that sends shivers down the spines of many keto beginners. Don't worry, it's not a real flu but rather a set of flu-like symptoms that some people experience during the initial stages of keto adaptation. These symptoms, which can include headaches, fatigue, muscle cramps, and brain fog, are often caused by electrolyte imbalances that can occur when transitioning to a ketogenic diet. You see, when you drastically reduce your carbohydrate intake on keto, your body produces less insulin, a hormone that helps regulate fluid balance. As a result, you might experience increased urination, leading to a loss of electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium. These electrolytes play vital roles in various bodily functions, including muscle contractions, nerve impulses, and fluid balance. When they're out of whack, you're likely to feel the effects. But here's the good news. The keto flu is usually temporary and easily preventable by paying attention to your electrolyte intake. It's all about replenishing what you're losing. The simplest way to do this is by incorporating electrolyte-rich foods into your diet. Think leafy greens, avocados, nuts, seeds, and even bone broth, which is a fantastic source of sodium and other minerals. You can also supplement with electrolytes if needed. There are various keto-friendly electrolyte powders and drinks available that can help you replenish those essential minerals and keep the keto flu at bay. Remember, staying hydrated is equally important. Drink plenty of water throughout the day, especially when you're first starting keto. By being mindful of your electrolyte intake and staying hydrated, you can minimize the chances of experiencing the keto flu and enjoy a smoother transition into ketosis. So there you have it, five common keto mistakes that could be holding you back from experiencing the full potential of this incredible lifestyle. Remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding these pitfalls, you can navigate your keto journey with confidence. Take a moment to reassess your approach, identify any areas where you might be slipping up, and make those necessary adjustments. Your body will thank you for it. I'd love to hear from you. Have you fallen victim to any of these keto mistakes? What strategies have worked best for you? 
Share your experiences and questions in the comments below. Let's learn and grow together. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more keto tips and tricks. And share this video with your friends and family who might be on their own keto journey. Let's spread the knowledge and help everyone thrive on keto.